Okay guys, uh, today on Dan of All Trades, we are working on our Malibu response, our Inmar engine. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove your raw water pump impeller and replace that. Um, that's right there on the front, that little gold housing right there. We're gonna take that cover off of there and replace the impeller inside there. Everybody's application is going to be different. Mine is super easy to get to right there in the front. Nothing blocking it, nothing in the way. Uh, a lot of newer boats. The engine's going to be in the rear. And uh, they'll be a little more difficult to get to. Maybe some people's engines are turned around. Just depend on your application. But on these Inmar engines, you're looking for that little gold thing right there. That little tiny raw water pump. And it should be running off your crank. So your crank and pulleys are always in the front. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so first thing you want to do is locate your water pump, the raw water pump. And on this case, it's going to be in the front of the engine right here. And I already started taking my bolts out. Um, these are not tight at all. Well, I mean, they're not finger tight. I already loosened these all up. There we go. And you want to inspect your cover a little bit. I mean, it's just a rubber. Rub it on it, but you want to make sure there's no lip on the edge here. That one's in pretty good shape. What you want to do is take a pair of needle nose and grab one of the fins like that. Now before, I forgot to mention, before you take it out, take notice of which way uh, your fins are going. So the rotation's going this way. On insulation, it's better. You're going to twist it a little bit going in there and getting that crease in the fins already. Now just grab a pair of needle nose like this and what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a fin, you're gonna place them in there, grab a fin and then you're gonna work away around it. Uh, you obviously can't get down here on the bottom. Uh, probably on the sides here will be best. Grab one side, try to Get it to move a little bit, then go to the other side. There, start, start moving now. There we go. There it comes. Okay, got that out. Okay, so here's our new water pump or the impeller. And they give you this pack of lubricant. What you want to do with this, it helps it on in insulation and startup when you first start this up so the rubber is not dry. We're just going to put this on all of our fins here. And it's very uh, runny, so be careful spilling it on the boat floor. Move my rag over here. I'm just putting it on all the fins. And I'm going to put a little bit right in here. I don't know if that helps, but we'll see. Okay, now when we're going to go install it, Remember, my rotation was going like this, so you're going to kind of want to uh, start spinning it as you're putting it in there. There we go. You okay, got it in there. Now I'm just going to give it a little... Tap all the way around, just 
make sure it's all the way in. And you'll be able to kind of tell because you can see how close it is from the edge here. I'm going to wipe our surface area off. Get it all clean from any of that lube that you might have got on it. Your plate and get your gasket on there. It's going to go on a certain way. Okay, so just place the gasket on the same way the old one was, wherever the old markings are at. And then you see, here's your wider. This is only going to go on one way. Here's your big cut out right here. That's going to go on the bottom there. And my plate is actually says it's, the writing is all upside down. So that's just my application. Okay, and then we're just going to start all of our bolts. Just starting them all with your hand. Uh, five sixteenths. I'm going to snug them up. And be careful, don't get crazy tight on these. They're just little tiny brass screws, so I'm not even grabbing the end of my ratchet to tighten it just right here on the end here these these bolts are slotted too for a screwdriver so you'll be able to get them plenty tight even with just a screwdriver so it doesn't need to get you don't need to get carried away okay and that's installed um, and one suggestion that I suggest is taking your box from your new one and uh, placing your old one in here and keeping it on your boat because just just in case, um, if this goes out, your whole engine is done. Um, you're not going to get that fresh, cool water running through your engine and the whole thing's going to burn up. So just a precaution, keep your old one. Keep it on your boat under the seat or something. Um, that way, you know, it'll get you back to shore, if anything else. And that's all there is to it, guys. Um, like always, thanks for watching my videos. And um, stay tuned and see what we're working on next.